sun is the heart of our solar system. And when we imagine our solar system, we place sun in the middle and draw planets around it on flat disk. Given that we have been learning this from schools, the fact that all the planets revolve around the sun in same orbital plane is taken for granted. Furthermore, they all orbit the sun in the same direction. Ever wonder why? Or is it just a massive coincidence? Or did something happen during the formation of the solar system to make it this way? From our recent space ventures, we found out it is not a massive coincidence because not only planets orbit the sun in same direction, but regular moons orbit the planet on same plane and direction too. In case of Earth, we only have one moon and have nothing to compare it with. But our gas giants have numerous moon and all of them orbit the planet in same plane and direction. The beautiful Saturn's ring orbits the Saturn along the same plane as its regular moon does. Some have plenty of examples showing the planets orbiting the Sun in same orbital plane. But how and why this happens? Hi, I'm Roshan, and you're watching Astrophy's weekly show. And in this video, we will take a deep dive into our solar system formation to find out why all planets orbit the Sun in same orbital plane. Let's go back to the time billions of years ago before our solar system was even formed, when dust particles started accumulating, forming a very young protostar that has not started nuclear fusion yet. The protostar pulled in dust particles from all directions in a very chaotic environment. Particles used to collide with each other on regular basis, and on doing so, their angular momentum will be cancelled out. But they would not have approached uniformly as the collapsing nebula has a total angular momentum. So what happens is that when dust particles approach from different directions, most of their momentum will be cancelled out by particles moving into another direction until all the particles moving in same direction is left. This is kind of confusing explanation. Let's visualize it practically. The best visualization we can give you is this representation from Dan Burns, who conducts space-time experiments on this fabric sheet. The ball in the middle is our protostar, and it is warping the space-time and creating the gravity due to its heavy mass. Dan throws several balls in different directions around the middle ball in multi-orbit until the balls collide with each other and cancel their momentum. Now what we have left is just the balls that are going in same direction and didn't collide. Here, eventually balls will stop due to the friction between the ball and fabric sheet. But there's not friction in space. So you can imagine balls continuing on their orbit. This visualization is a kind of two-dimensional representation of what happens in three-dimensional plane in our four-dimensional universe. So you'll need to imagine these particles going along another axis too. Here balls only approach center from two direction, but on protostar, particle will approach from all direction and cancel the momentum until predominant direction remains, creating a protoplanetary disk. As the material falls into the protostar, angle of impact causes protostar to rotate in the same direction. As the particles stop after collision with each other, material begins to clump together. If the clump is massive enough, another star will form. Otherwise, these clumps will start forming planets. Around this planet, similar protoplanetary disks will form again, causing the same phenomenon, eventually forming the moons. This all happened during the formation of solar system, but we still have good examples of this, Saturn's ring. Cassini probe during its mission was able to identify tiny moonlets forming inside Saturn's ring. These moonlets may fall apart due to other gravity forces which must have happened during formation of our solar system too, but some of them last eventually forming planets and moons. During Cassini's mission, it found few moonlets that lasted till the end of its mission which may someday form new moons of Saturn in a few thousand or million years. 
this solves our mystery behind the same direction rotation, but speaking of orbital plane, all our planets are not on same orbital plane. There is variation of few degrees, but it's definitely a pattern. There are some objects in our solar system that doesn't orbit in same plane or have inclined orbits like Pluto, asteroids, and comets. This has probably happened due to immense gravitational force of the gas giants of Jupiter, Saturn, Neptune, and Uranus. It is so fascinating that nature changes the most chaotic things in universe into something calm and orderly over time. We can still find the proof of these collisions on exposed planets and moons by observing their craters. This video has been made possible by MyFitness7, and if you are keen about your fitness journey, visit www.myfitness7.com. If you found any value on this video, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching the video and see you soon.